Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, June 1st, 2020. It's a brand new month, and I have your story of the day. Today, I'm going to read a story called A House for Hermit Crab. The story is by Eric Carl. He's written a lot of stories, I'm sure you all know. A House for Hermit Crab. What kind of house does a hermit crab live in? What do you think? Does it live in a house like you or I? An apartment or a, a home? Does it live in the ocean? And its house is a shell. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. <clears throat> he had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell onto the floor of the ocean, but it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. So what does a hermit crab live in? What is a hermit crab's house? Yeah, a shell. That's what protects the hermit crab. Early in February, hermit crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right, but it looks so... Well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come live on my house? It's so plain, it needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly among, along the seafloor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. What's he doing to his house? Or his shell? What is he doing? Is he decorating it? In May, Hermit Crab dis discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral. Gingerly, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. So he has a sea anemone, a starfish, and now a piece of coral that he's going to put on his shell. In June, Hermit Crab came into a group of snails crawling under a rock on the ocean floor. They gazed as they went picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hardworking you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come up and clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on its shell. So he has a sea anemone, a starfish, piece of coral, and now a snail. In July, Hermit Cat Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. All right, tell me what he picked up first. First, he picked up a sea anemone. Then he picked up a 
starfish. Then he picked up coral. Then he picked up a snail. And just now he picked up a sea urchin. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim is it, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy is it, whispered the starfish. How murky is it, complained Coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. In September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. <clears throat> How bright you all are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cried Hermit Crab. All right, tell me what, he, what the Hermit Crab picked up first. First, the Hermit Crab picked up a... Sea anemone. Then he picked up a starfish. Then he picked up a piece of coral. Then he picked up the snail. And then he picked up the lanternfish. Oh, and we forgot. We forgot the sea, the, the urchin, sea urchin. Picked up the sea urchin before he picked up the lanternfish. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little, over the year, Hermit Crab, ha Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They have been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like family. How can I ever leave them? In December, a smaller Hermit Crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell for me, she said. Would you know a place for me? I have outgrown my house, too, answered the Hermit Crab. I must move on. You're welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't say that that little couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but <gasps> sponges, he thought, barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there were so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. I hope you enjoyed my story and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you all tomorrow.